This is Jeremy Tusmer with SGTV. His business card was straight and to the point. Ben Messick, artist. Artist wasn't just what he did, it was who he was. Ben Messick grew up in a small town called Strafford in the Ozark Mountains of Missouri. Thomas Hart Benton was born in those same mountains about 80 miles away, and Will Rogers another 80 miles from Benton. Each, in their way, would come to define the culture of the United States through the late 1920s, the Great Depression, and beyond. Learning to watch and draw the folks who came to his grandfather's country store to tell tales and stock up, Messick began his love of drawing people at a very early age. After serving in the Army in World War I, where officers marshaled his drawing skills to do frontline scouting, Messick followed the path of so many ambitious Midwesterners. He moved out to Tinseltown. In the fall of 1925, he enrolled at the Chouinard Art Institute, finding a room with the now equally famous California scene artist Phil Paradise, and just upstairs from another future art celebrity, Phil Dyke. Chouinard was practically the seat of the California scene movement in Southern California, so Messick could count himself both lucky and worthy to continue on for three years of scholarship for Mrs. Chouinard herself. Graduating from school in the dog days of the Great Depression, Messick found it pretty tough going. He found a tumble-down apartment near MacArthur Park, a neighborhood then as now a lower and middle class area with an especially vibrant and multi-ethnic street life. He did whatever artistic work he could find, assisting Conrad Buff on a mural, doing ad work for the local department stores, whatever. He lived off of milk and date nut bread. His friends remember him as tall, friendly, and reed thin. If life was hard, Messick nevertheless found joy in the parks, dance halls, circuses, and bars of downtown Los Angeles. His love for the city and its people was evident in every work he ever did. If his portrayals of Los Angelinos were sympathetic, they weren't soft. Some of his works had a satiric edge, leading one art critic to declare him the American Daumier. Eventually, success found him. In 1935, the LA County Museum gave him a solo show. In 1937, the city's most prestigious gallery, Stendhal, began to represent him. Eventually, he found work with the WPA, contributing to the beauty of the LA County Hall of Records, William McKinley Junior High, and Santa Barbara Junior High. In 1943, Chouinard hired him to teach. This exhibition of drawings, watercolors, oils, and prints includes studies for famous works, a number of well-published oils, and a couple of his most popular lithographs. It exudes the feeling of the period, a period whose sentiments seem oddly familiar today in the words of Will Rogers. Some 80 years ago, the cowboy wit said, Last year we said things can't go on like this, and they didn't. They got worse. With humor, grit, and hard work, old Ben Messick got by, and so have we. Ben Messick, artist, will be on view through May 3rd. Come see it.